edition of the Riff Rundown with the awesome folks at Fishman. Another Fishman takeover here on Saturdays. You guys know the drill every Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific. I go live. There are no edits. I go live, teach you guys one of my favorite songs for an hour and chat and answer your questions, all of that good stuff. So today we're going to be learning Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Mary Jane's Last Dance. I've got my Stratocaster here today. Could you play this on acoustic? You could. We are, however, going to be going over not only the chords within the song, but we're gonna be going over both solos as well and all this, the awesome, tasty stuff that Mike Campbell is doing too. One of my favorite, favorite guitar players ever, Mr. Mike Campbell. So that's what we'll be going over today. I'm gonna to play some tunes. In the meantime, you guys know the drill. Let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite Tom Petty song. Okay, we're gonna break this down piece by piece. So here's what we'll be learning today. Also going to do both guitar solos too because why not so here's going to be the first one that we're going to go over Second solo, <laughs> we're doing a lot today. So let's get to it. So those are all the parts I figured with these solos for my intermediate intermediate players You could definitely get a lot out of this even my more advanced students But beginners do not fear you will be able to do all of this stuff too as I always say you can't play anything fast You can't play slow. So take your time. All right So again, Mary Jane's last dance is gonna be to the tune that we are gonna be going over today if you have an electric guitar, great. That's what I would prefer you guys have for this lesson. If you only have an acoustic, it's okay. The solos and the chord inversions that we'll be talking about a little later on in the lesson may be a little tougher for you. But again, it's uh, it's good for those calluses on your fingers, okay? But I suggest if you got an electric, let's do an electric today. I've got my Strat and I'll definitely be talking about the goodness of the Strat a little bit later on today. So again, before we get started, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite Tom Petty song douglas i love this comment i gotta say this right now before we get started where would tom petty be without a minor and g so many great tom petty songs with a minor and g couldn't agree more douglas thanks for tuning in really appreciate it okay so let's go ahead and get on to the first part of the song the intro lucky for us the intro and the verses same exact chords we're gonna play them in the same exact way okay so let's go ahead and get started with that 
So we've got an A minor. What we are going to do here, so again, I'm sure you guys know how to play an A minor. I won't go into the details on how to do it. You can always watch a few of my previous lessons to see how you get to this chord. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lift up our second and third finger. We're gonna hammer on with those two as we strum to then land on that A minor. So it's gonna sound like this. Like that. Okay, it's a fun little exercise too. So that is the first bit here. And then strum the chord. So let's take a second and go ahead and do that. Okay, again, be very intent. Lots of, lots of good intention when you're doing this, okay? And then give it a little upstroke, why not? Why not? Okay, so here we go. Let's do this a few times. Stroke. Here we go. Hear the groove already. These Tom Petty songs, all about groove. And again, with my right hand, we're just kind of keeping time here. That's what those hits are. So that's what we're doing up at the top. So for the next chord, G. Now you guys know I use the full G chord with my third finger on the third fret of the B string, that is D, in terms of what note that is in the G chord itself that is going to be your fifth, okay? If you prefer to play your G chord like this, you can. However, why I am choosing to do the G chord in this fashion, right, with that third finger there on the third fret of the B string is because a D chord is next. So I'm using this third finger as a pivot to get to the D chord, which is the following chord in the song, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's talk about the strumming with that G chord into that D chord. <clears throat> okay, just clearing my throat here before we get started. All right, so we've got the A minor. Notice how I am hitting the root of the G chord here, the G note here, right? Third fret E string. Hit that root first, just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and do that again. Give me a little upstroke too there, why not? Again, nice and slow here, we'll do this a few times. Okay, one more time. Not too bad, right? Remember, think groove. Think groove, keeping time, all of that good stuff, okay? Think groove here. Don't play this too staccato, we don't want that. Good groove too, good strong hits, but again, leave, some, leave room for some groove. Always a good thing, always a good thing. Always good to be a groovy player. Okay, so again, to our G chord. We're gonna do the same thing with our D chord here by hitting the root first before we go ahead and play the rest of the chord. So that root, open D string, then the chord, okay? So open D string is the open D string. There you go. All right, it's just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and do that from the top, give us some context with the A minor and the G chord. So here we go. What did I do there? Those of you who've been watching these lessons know I'm a big fan of those suspended chords. Apparently Tom Petty was as well. So let's go ahead and talk about what that chord is. We're going to play a D chord, right? But when we lift that second finger up, something happens to the chord. This chord now becomes a D sus too. Okay, so simply put, it's a D chord, that open E string instead of that F sharp. So it sounds like that. It's very lustrous, it's a very cool chord. Like that, okay? And then what do you do? You hammer it on. I'll do that again. Like that, okay? 
listen to how when we put all these parts together, how it really sounds really, really awesome. It starts to really sound like a cutty tune. So here we go. Go back to the D sus2 afterwards. Okay, so let's do that again a few times. Upstroke. Use this, um, the heel of your hand, to then mute the strings after that upstroke of that D sus2, the second one that we do, okay? So I'll do that again a few times, nice and slow here. And again, take your time. Can't play anything fast, we can't play slow. All right, so here we go. Okay, again. From there, right back to A minor. Straight A minor, not doing any suspensions or anything like that, okay? So now, let's put these four together. Here we go. Right hand here. Let the pick do the work for you. One more time. Okay. So now that is the first bit. That's the first part of the intro that A minor G D back to the A minor. Now, the next part that we do, the inflections are slightly different, particularly with that A minor, but don't worry, totally doable, I promise. So what we're gonna do here, instead of lifting the second and third finger, we're gonna lift the first finger this time. And again, by listening back, I'm pretty sure this is what's happening here. First finger is being lifted, hammered on, like that. When we lift our first finger in this A minor chord and play this, that's an A sus too. So that's the chord that's happening there, okay? Before we go ahead and hammer that, that C note back, okay? So that's the beginning of part two of our verse and intro, okay? So. Then we do this pinky on the third fret of the E string, that is our G, we're playing in A minor seven here because we have our flat seven of G. There it is. Part of another song, I'll let you guys figure out what it is. Um, so. so just like that, all right? So first finger, hammer it on, that A sus two to A minor. A minor seven pinky third fret E string. Let's do that a few times together. Again. One more time. Let's put the next G chord, guess what, same. That D sus2 to D, back to D sus2, exactly the same. Back to our A minor. So, now let's put those two parts together. I'll answer some questions and we'll get on to the chorus. Chorus is pretty fun and simple, it's great. So here we go.
So that's what's happening there. Intro, verse, done, covered, check them off the list. We are good here. <clears throat> so again, uh, if you guys have questions, this is a live Q&A too, so happy to answer a few of those as well. Also, those of you just tuning in, welcome. We are playing Mary Jane's Last Dance by the awesome Tom Petty of Heartbreakers, one of my favorite songs. A, uh, a staple of, you know, blues jams and jams in general. It's a great one to know. It's a great, great song to have in your back pocket. I feel like a lot of these lessons that we do, they're good like back pocket songs when you're playing with folks. Uh, ooh, Paul is asking, which amp are you using? Thanks for tuning in, Paul. What I am going through here is a Fender Blues Junior 3, I believe. I love it. Good solid tube amp. Can't go wrong. Just big enough, but just small enough, too. So, um, yeah, great sounding amp. I always get what I need. Sounds really good paired with pedals, too. And just nice, classy amp. I love it. I, uh, I've had it for a really, really long time. It's a great, 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 great amplifier. So that's what I'm going through there. Donald, glad you are having fun watching and learning from New Hampshire. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, those of you just tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite Tom Petty song. JJ is asking, same chords um, if I'm playing this on an acoustic. Yes, same exact chords, same exact chords. Just going to sound a little more, a little more acoustic than electric. That's all, that's all, but all good stuff. All right, uh, again, Really cool stuff here. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's go ahead and look at the chorus now. Mike Campbell, one of my favorite guitar players ever, plays with Tom Petty and does some really tasty licks on this chorus. So first I'm gonna talk about what Tom Petty's doing and then we're gonna go ahead and have a look at what Mike is doing on the song. Again, one of my favorite guitar players, love Mike Campbell. Okay, so with the chorus, lucky for us, it's three chords, yes. And not only are they three chords, they're three easy chords to play. It's E minor. So that last dance with Mary Jane, one more time to kill the pain. Then you got your A chord, yay. I feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. A major, and then it goes to G. Okay, so those are the three chords. I'll play them nice and slowly here. Singing along, just so you guys can get the gist of what's happening. So E minor. Again, nice light touch with that right hand. Back to that E minor. fingernail stuck there. Let's do that again. There we go. So those are the chords E minor, A, and G. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and talk about what Mike Campbell is doing. We just covered what Tom did. So check that off the list. We're done here. Now let's talk about what Mike's doing here. So what he's doing, once Tom goes, goes ahead and plays that A chord, that A major, and if you notice, I like to play A major with my second, third, and fourth finger on the second fret of the D, G, and B string, respectively, so I like doing that. I think it's a good way to do it. That's how I like to play it, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> so now let's move on to what Mike's doing here. This is the lick that's happening on top of that A major chord and as it's ringing and sustaining through the song. He's doing this. And kind of has a little bit of a bend. So this sounds like, oh my gosh, it's, we're going up and up and higher in the neck. Yes, what he's doing here, it's really, really cool, is it's three different inversions of the A major chord. So it's three different inversions of the one, three, five of A major, which if we're keeping track, A, C sharp and E. So we're playing those notes all the way up the next. Go ahead and talk about it. So let's go ahead, second finger. We're gonna get that second finger started at the third fret of the G string. Okay, if we're keeping track, it's B flat. And slide it all the way up to C sharp. Okay, that's gonna be on the sixth fret of that G string. So third fret to sixth fret G string. Okay. We're gonna complete that A major triad 
okay? First finger is gonna go across the fifth fret of the E string and B string. That would be your A on the E string fifth fret and E fifth fret B string, okay? So just like that. So let's go ahead and do that again, nice and slowly here. We're gonna do this a few times. He's articulating this, hitting the E string, B string, and the G string, okay? Like that. And again, it's got a bit of intensity. It's not played lightly, right? Well, it's got a light touch, but you don't want to be too, too aggressive with it. You really want those notes ringing through, so. Like that break that down, half the speed, give it a good wiggle, it's something I like to do. Okay, one more time. So that's our A major triad up here at the fifth, sixth fret of the first three strings, okay? So now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to play the next A major triad, it's going to be here like this. So, quick way to look at this here, if you want to think about it this way, it's like a D chord shape, right? And if I slide it all the way up to the 9th and 10th fret, and there it is there. So, let's talk about what finger is exactly. So, we've got first finger, go ahead and place that on the G string on the 9th fret, that note is E, okay? Now go ahead and put your second finger down, place that on the ninth fret E string, that's your C sharp. Your third finger is going to be playing A, 10th fret B string. <clears throat> okay? So that is how we're gonna do that, okay? So, nice and slow. How we're gonna do this, we're coming from this A major triad, right? So just like that, now. Notice how I slid. Let me do that again. Okay, so I'm sliding from the sixth fret, cool. Sliding from the sixth fret of that G string there with the first finger sliding that up, making a good little place ready for that A major triad to go. So now let's go ahead and put both of these together, nice and slow. Again, nice and slow. Let's do it even slower. Take your time with this. Let's get that a little smoother. Let's do that again. Even smoother. Okay. So that's our second A triad. Now, we're gonna do the next one all the way up here, 12th and 14th frets. But don't worry, it's cool, we're gonna get there. How I want you to play this first finger, go ahead and place that on the E 12th fret E string. Okay, your third finger, place that on the 14th fret G string, that's your A. Pinky finger is gonna go on the 14th fret B string, that is your third, your C sharp. Okay. So, here's how we're gonna get from this A major to the next A major. I am sliding from that F sharp located on the 11th fret G string, sliding that F sharp to the 14th fret G. Okay, I'm gonna do that again nice and slow. And 
do this a few times here. Follow along. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do that a few more times. Stick with it, guys. Stick with it. Again. Now, let's combine all three. the open D string. Let's do that again. It's that little speed. Let's do this. And give it a good little bend too. Okay, so let's play this again to speed. So that's what's happening there. Again, slow and steady wins the race. There are your three triads there. And again, what's really, really cool about this, it's gonna be on YouTube and all that good stuff. If you wanna run through that, again, you can just go and watch this anytime. Again, I wanna thank the folks at Fishman for having me. These are super, super fun. Absolutely love doing these. These have been a blast. So let's go ahead and now talk about what happens when that G chord is being played on the second half of that chorus. So, that I feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. It goes to the G chord. So here's what Mike Campbell's doing here. Pretty cool stuff. Sounds great, super groovy, right? But simple to the point. Just really, really awesome. He's got such a great touch. So get your second finger, okay? Place that on the seventh fret of the G string. Those of you keeping track, that is a D note. We're gonna slide it up to A, or slide it up to E. Whole step up, okay? It's Saturday, it's been a long week. So we've got D to E. Place your third finger, okay, on that C sharp. That's going to be on the ninth fret of the E string. So like this. Beautiful stuff, right? How often have we heard this guitar lick? Bring that shape, ninth fret, E string and G string, a whole step back. What is particularly awesome about this, so the chord that this is being played on top of, is the three and the five of that G chord. The only note that we are not getting is the one because Tom Petty is taking care of that with the chord. And then Mike Campbell's does this. Really, really awesome teamwork, harmony, great, great melodic playing here. So again, that last riff. And if you can help it, okay, go ahead. Pick the notes, you can use a pick if you want, if you notice I am hybrid picking here. Plucking the E string with my second finger, upwards. But notice when I slide back to playing that D and B note, I'm not striking it. I'm letting, see that? I'm letting the power of that slide play the notes for me. I'll do that again, nice and slow. So that's what we want here. Could you pluck it? But it just sounds a little too happy. I don't know. And again, give it a good wiggle if you want the sustain to go a little bit. It's good stuff. All right. So those are the two riffs that are happening there at the first part of the chorus. So we've got the. I feel summer creeping in and I'm 
out of this town again. A major. Mike Campbell. Tom Petty G chord. Okay. So that's what's happening there. Now, when we get to the next part of the chorus, I think I sang the wrong lyrics over that, but you guys get the point. So um, we got that E minor and that A again. I feel so da 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 Then Tom, or then Mike Campbell does this sort of line. Okay, it has a really cool kind of bend. And then finishes with another inversion of that G major chord. So how we're gonna do this, get your third finger bend up. Third finger, fourth fret, that's gonna be your B note. That's how you're gonna, how high you're gonna bend that note. It's a whole step bend there, okay? From that B to C sharp. That's what we're doing in actuality, but we are bending there instead of moving our finger to get there. We are bending upwards. Again, take your time. Like that. That's the note we wanna hit. Again, take your time with this technique. It can be a little tough. Just take your time, folks. Definitely if you have an electric, this will be, it's a little more electric friendly. Get your pinky from there. Reach to the fifth fret of that E string that's going to be your A. So with that bend, what's happening is we're hitting the C sharp and the A of that A major chord, which is pretty cool. So bring that fourth finger down, or fourth fret B string, B note, G string. Let me say that again. <laughs> we're live, folks. This is live. <laughs> no edits here. Third finger bending up. Right, pinky finger, fifth fret A. That is still bent up. Bring it back down. C sharp to B. Then go ahead and play this G chord. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to play it. I'm gonna tune my guitar and I'm gonna answer some questions. So, first finger, place that third fret, E string, B string, okay? Your G, D note. Third finger, place the second finger, place that on the fourth fret of the G string. That note is your B. Your third finger is hitting the G note, fifth fret, D string. So just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tune here. Those of you who have questions would absolutely love to answer them today. I'm gonna play the tuning song, because like, how fun is this? We're live, we're live. It's good stuff. My name is Angela Petrilli, folks. Today we are learning Tom Petty's Mary Jane's Last Dance. Great tune. So, while I've got you here, let's talk a little bit about these pickups I've got going on. Well, not as out as I thought. Just the E string. It's always you, E string. Okay, so the pickups that I have here, because I'm noticing some people are asking about them, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about them. These are Fishman Fluence single widths for Strat style like guitars and I happen to have Strat here today. This is a 19, it's either a 1998 or 1999 American Deluxe. They do not make these anymore, which is a real shame. They're such great guitars, Just absolutely love these. I bought this guitar back in 20, 2007. I bought this guitar for myself. Love this guitar, super great. I got the Fishman Fluence in here, super, super quiet. Really great sounding Strat pickups, Strat style pickups. It's also got two different kinds of sound. So if you want the more like kind of Stevie Ray sound, you can go ahead and it's just a pull up right here. That's a pull push, pretty good stuff. Again, they're super quiet, they sound great. I'm a big fan of the clean sounding Strat. With today's lesson, I don't have any overdrive at all. I am literally plugging this straight into my Fender Blues Junior. So that's what I am doing here with, with this one today. It is strictly, strictly right into that, right into that Blues Junior, it's all I'm doing. <laughs> But yeah, gets gets the kind of cool, clean tones I want. But yeah, definitely check them out. And I will leave a link once the video is up. I'll leave a link to uh, these so you guys can go ahead and check them out on, on Facebook as well as the YouTubes. So yeah, it's good stuff, folks. <clears throat> But yeah, super fun guitar to play. So those are the fills that are happening in 
those choruses, all right? So that's what's happening there. So that first chorus, we've got those fills of that A major. Really, really cool inversion stuff happening there. On that second chorus, we've got that riff there, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and play everything that we have done so far nice and slow. Then we're gonna go ahead for, gosh, this lesson's flying by. We're gonna go ahead and use this next half of the lesson to go over not one, but two guitar solos today, folks. Yes, <coughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so here we go from the top. I'm gonna do it nice and slow and I'll vary it in speeds. Here we go, folks. And again, thank you all for tuning in. Those of you just joining us, let me know where you're tuning in from, your favorite Tom Petty song. Here we go again. <laughs> So we just did all of Tom Petty's parts, and now let's go, let's do Mike Campbell's parts starting from the chorus. to Mike Campbell's parts. but a little cleaner. So that's what we've got so far. Again, nice and slow there. That's what's happening on that section of the song, all right? So now let's go ahead and talk about the iconic fills and solo stuff that is happening in tune. So if we go back, of course this one I think we all can recognize and even hum along. <laughs> So with that, how I like to play this is with two fingers. I like to get my third finger and fourth finger, placing both of them on the seventh fret of the G string and the B string. And bending upwards. Like that. Use the thumb to help you get that grip and that like claw-like grip. Now notice, see my first finger here? It's like, please give me a job and something to do and play. So what we will do here, your first finger is gonna go on the fifth fret of the G string and B string. Before we get there, let's go ahead and talk about the articulation that's happening with the third and fourth. Little tiny bends here. You're bending it upwards. If we're talking about it in terms of like what kind of bend, it's gonna be a half step. See that? It sounds cooler when you bend it, right? So like that. Notice how I am also hybrid picking this. Could you go ahead and just do it with a pick? You could. I like to hybrid pick it. It just feels more comfortable for me. So how I do that, pick is on the G string. Middle finger is plucking upwards on the B string. Oh my 
guitar is going to hate me after this. Like that. But again, not so... I'm doing that to, so you guys can see it slowly. When we do it quickly... Fast like that. Just like that. Just a touch. Now, again, as I mentioned previously, first finger go ahead and put that. Fifth fret, G and B strings. Third finger is going to go seventh fret D string. Let's do that whole thing nice and slow. One more time. Now, notice upward pluck with the pick on that A note, that seventh fret of the D string there. Or upwards, whatever you want to do. So that's the second part of it. First finger, place that across the fifth fret of the G string and B string. Second, or your third and fourth finger, seventh fret G and B string. Just like that. Nice and slow. Here we go. And this riff we see a lot in the song. Mike Campbell plays it. Tom Petty plays it as well in his solo too, which we'll talk about in a few moments. So the second phrase, we go back to that A on the seventh fret of the D string. Here are both parts. Just like that, okay? Playing it fast. So, let's get to the solo bit. This is my Campbell solo, this is the first one. I'll play it first and we'll break it down. we're covering a lot of ground here when it comes to this guitar solo. So let's break it down piece by piece. First finger. So you just slide from the third to the fourth. Either be cool, pretty sure it's a third. A whole step movement there. So get your first finger, third fret, B string, E string, pinch it. Notice how my thumb, see it back here. Let's see. I can kind of sort of see it. Not really. This way. <laughs> okay. Pinched. My thumb is not up here. We do not want it there. We want a good solid grip there. Okay. Pinch that. Third fret to fifth fret slide. B string, E string. Just like that. One more time. What's happening here? G string, play it open, third finger, eighth fret, B string, octaves, yay, right? Nice ringing notes there, okay? So that third finger on the eighth fret of the B string, that is your G along with the open G string there, octaves. Now you're going to use your third finger, slide it 8th fret, slide it to the 10th fret. What we're also going to do here is have that E string ready and open. We're going to slide that now, 10th fret of that B string with that open E string. Twelfth fret, B string, your B note. I'm going to do that again from the top. And 
then slide that back to 10th fret B string with the open E string. Okay, let's do this a few times nice and slow. Let me do that again. Let's do this correctly. Let's try that again. We're live. <laughs> Again, without the clams, here we go. As you'll notice here too, sometimes I get the second finger to mute that G string if it's ringing a little too long. And yeah, so keep that in mind too, just having that finger is like a little bit of a buffer if you need it, okay? So here we go again, nice and slow. A little faster. All right, so that's part one. Let's go into part two of the solo. Stay here with your first finger, 10th fret B string. He just kind of lives there a little bit. Slide all the way up, same string here, B string, 5th fret, that's our E note. Just like that. Okay, so that's the first part. Again, pretty simple here. D to E, 3rd fret, 5th fret, B string. Lead with that first finger, bring it back, first fret B string to the third fret, your C to D. Just like that. Let's do that again really slow. Open G string, second finger, go ahead and place that on the A note, second fret G string. Okay, let's do that second bit. All the way through, I'll do it slow and then I'll do it a little bit faster. Okay, so here we go. Put them together. Okay. Now, let's put both parts together slowly and then we'll do it fast and we'll move on to Tom Petty solo and then that's the end of it. This will definitely, I think, go over the hour, but if you guys are having fun, I know I am. Uh, again, Angela Petrilli here. This has been such a blast. Thanks again to the folks at Fishman. I love doing these Fishman takeovers. They're a blast. So here we go from the top. that again. Now with a little speed. solo that we see on this tune and keep in mind that that riff is coming right before this solo so combine the two okay so now when we go ahead and move on to with what I believe Tom I, I believe Tom Petty blah, 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 Tom Petty played the second solo live seen some videos so we're gonna call this Tom solo 
okay? So we're gonna start this solo with that same riff. I'll do it slow. that at the beginning as well. He also does this at the beginning. That sliding from that third fret of the B and E string, that D and G all the way up to E and A. Then he does this. jams on that and then and then it goes back all right so let's break this down step by step as always so first bit there we go now we go into those bends Here's how we do it. First finger on the A note, fifth fret E string. Have it ready, okay? That's where it's gonna go. Third finger, place that on the eighth fret of the B string, as those of you are perhaps, you know, keeping notes here, keeping score. That's your G note. When we bend this up, we're bending it up to the pitch of A. And guess what? That's also A down here that we're playing with our first finger too. So really, really important that you are bending properly with that, with that B string on the eighth fret to make sure that you are hitting that correct pitch of A. So I'll show you what I mean. Notice how it works. If I bend too much, it's not gonna sound good. That we don't want, bad, 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 bad. We don't want that. So really listen to your ear here. We want the A. So this is the correct way to do it. See how we're hitting that A? As we're bending up. So that's what we wanna do. Again, this is gonna take a little bit of practice, but take your time. Bend up on that B string, A fret, whole step bend. Go back to the fifth fret, there it is, <laughs> fifth fret E string, it's your A. So he does this a few times, then he lands on that G note, he stays there, all right? So again, nice and slow here. Next bit here, go back to your A. Go to your eighth fret B string, but slide it up to the 10th fret B string playing our A note, going from G to A. So again, I'm gonna include that slide with the top to give it a little bit of context. Here we go. Someone saying it sounds like it's a popular Chuck Berry band. You'd be correct, Sam. That's it. Right, right there. That's what we want. Now, if you notice, I like to, I like those sustainy little vibrato wiggles. I like to do that. So if, if you want to try that too, go for it. Again. What's happening there? First finger, eighth fret of the E string. That is your C note. So, third finger, 10th fret B. Okay, so that's your A. Good bluesy goodness, right? Now, let's go ahead and put these together. In context, starting from those bends. All right, one more. 
more time. Now we're going to include the main riff into the slide, into the bends. Now the next little bit goes like this. All right, let's talk about how we do that. So. Get your second finger here. Go ahead and put it on the eighth fret of the G string. Slide it up to the ninth fret like that. Okay, so we've got the ninth fret there. Let me my hair, geez. Okay, there we go. <laughs> like that. Ninth fret, G string. First finger, eighth fret, B string. All right. So that note is E that you're playing on that ninth fret of the G string. And this note here in the eighth fret of the G string is B. Okay. So let's do that again. Twice. Just like that. Go ahead and do alternate picking. It's going to help you guys a lot. Alternate picking here. Just like that. All right. So, in context, let's add it from the bends. Here we go. One more time. Now, next part is going to sound like this. Right out of that scale. So, get that second finger, seventh fret of the G string. That note is D. So, fifth fret of that, D, of that G string is the next note, okay? That note is C. Bring that third finger up to the A, seventh fret of the D string, D isn't dog, okay? So I'm gonna play that whole bit nice and slow from this part. Right after you play that seventh fret of that D string, play the A string open. Because you have two A's there. Cool stuff, right? So let's go ahead and put that in context. Here is Petty solo, and then we'll go ahead and play both. Okay, the, the Mike Campbell solo as well as Tom. So here we go. From the top. on that, right? Maybe does some cool like bendy blues sort of wiggling vibrato thing, right? And then we'll go back to through the song, okay, towards the end. Pretty cool stuff, right? So that was Tom's. Let's go ahead and hear Mike Campbell's and we're going to close it out for today, folks. Can you believe we learned all the chords, all the fills and two solos today? Mm -hmm.
Mm. It's good stuff. Again, if you guys had a great time, my name is Angela Petrilli. You can go ahead and give me a follow on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all the good stuff. If you guys are enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to all the stuff that Fisherman is doing. Go and subscribe to their YouTube channels. You can follow me on YouTube, Angela Petrilli Music. I do these once a week and they are so, so much fun. It is such a blast and such an honor to hang out with you guys and answer your questions and, and play some of my favorite songs and help you guys learn them too. So it's a blast. So be sure, follow the folks at Fishman on all their socials. Come on down, give me a follow as well. Also too, those of you who are in LA, I will be playing a show with my band, Angela Petrilli and the Players at the Mint in Los Angeles, September 8th. It's going to be a blast. Going to be playing some of my favorite covers with the band, but also going to be uh, debuting a new tune as well. So be sure to visit my website, angelapatrillimusic.com. Check out if I'm going to be playing in a town near you. Again, always such a blast. Let's go ahead and play these two solos, and we are going to call it today. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. This has been, this has been such a blast. <laughs> we got a couple of folks playing this song on all acoustic today. Oh, you guys are troopers. Gold, gold star, gold star for all of you. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and, and, and break and, and play these two solos. We're gonna call it today. Thanks again, everybody. Be sure to subscribe. This is great, so fun. All right, here we go. have it there is mary jane's last dance by the awesome tom petty and the heartbreakers just love just love those guys i'm looking forward to teaching a lot more of their tunes uh, in the weeks and months ahead so again thank you all so much be sure to click that subscribe button for my pals over at fishman and myself as well it helps the cause folks it lets you know when we're doing these click the bell for all the notifications thanks sam super appreciate it Again, thank you all so, so much. I wish you much success in learning the song. As I always say, please be sure to tag me and Fishman. Let us know how it's going with these lessons. Uh, it has been such a blast to do these, and it is truly an honor to, to sit down with you guys once a week and play these tunes. Again, I'll be playing some live music starting in the fall. Those of you in the LA area, I'll be playing some tunes with my band, Angela Petrilli and the Players. Be sure to follow on all the social medias, folks at Fishman as well as myself. Again, thank you all so much. I will be putting a link in the video as well as on Facebook on these killer pickups. And again, folks, I'm plugged straight into the amp. There is no, there are, are no pedals happening here today. Good, awesome, clean strat tone by the awesome folks at Fishman. So yeah, really, really good stuff. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in. The next live will be Next week, I will be teaching a song on acoustic in open tuning. It'll be a 90s song, and that's all I'm going to say. So have your acoustics in open G tuning next week. So, yes, it'll be good stuff. Again, thank you all so much. Be kind, stay well, take care, play lots of music. And folks, I'll see you next